Did the ancient Stoics know about neuroplasticity 2,000 years before scientists even coined the term? It sounds crazy. But when you look at their teachings, the parallels are absolutely mind-blowing. Today, we're buzzing about neuroplasticity, the brain's amazing ability to rewire itself based on our thoughts and habits. But what if I told you that Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus were essentially teaching this very concept back in ancient Rome? Think about it. The Stoics believed that we can't control what happens to us, but we can asterisk, always asterisk, control our response. They taught that through consistent practice, we can train our minds to see obstacles as opportunities and to remain calm in the face of chaos. Sound familiar? This is the core idea of neuroplasticity in action. Every time you consciously choose to react calmly instead of angrily, you're strengthening that neural pathway. Every time you reframe a negative thought into a positive one, you are literally reshaping your brain. The Stoics called this the art of living. Modern science calls it experience-dependent neuroplasticity. For example, Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This isn't just a nice quote for a coffee mug. It's a practical instruction manual for your brain. He was telling us that our perceptions are a choice and with training, we can change our default reactions. So how did they practice this? Through daily exercises? Like negative visualization, imagining the worst case scenario to appreciate what you have, and journaling, just as Marcus Aurelius did in his meditations? These weren't just philosophical musings. They were mental workouts designed to build emotional resilience. They were forging new, stronger pathways in their brains, one thought at a time. It's incredible to think that these ancient philosophers, without any modern technology, understood a fundamental truth about the human mind. We are not fixed. We are constantly being sculpted by our thoughts and actions. They handed us the tools to be the architects of our own minds. So the next time you hear about changing your mindset, remember this isn't some new age fad. It's an ancient wisdom proven by time and now confirmed by science. You have the power to change your brain. The Stoics knew it, and now you do too. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this as fascinating as I do, hit that like button and subscribe for more insights that bridge ancient wisdom with modern science. See you in the next video. To learn more, check link in bio.